Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing three ways to wear Chanel's new Ombre Premier Gloss Top Coat Eyeshadows. These eyeglasses were launched as part of the recent Cruise Collection. I did a full review of all of the pieces that I picked up on my channel, but in case you missed it, the eyeglasses were sort of unexpected favorites. These are both limited edition, they retail for $36, and there are two shades available. The first is Solaire a beautiful, warm, transparent gold. The second is Lunaire, and this is probably my favorite. It's a soft, transparent silver shade. I've been playing around with my eyeglasses for the past few days now, trying to figure out the best way for me to wear them, and certainly your individual success will depend on a lot of different factors, including your eye shape, but what I've discovered is for me, I cannot simply apply this all over the lid without dealing with some serious creasing. According to Chanel.com, you can use the eye glosses alone or on top of an eyeshadow. The first time I applied these on top of an eyeshadow, I swiped instead of dabbing, and it completely wiped away the shadow right from the lid. It became a smudgy mess. So you do want to be careful when doing that. What I've discovered is that if I go right above the lash line, very low on the lid, or above the crease, kind of underneath the brow bone, those are two safe zones that will minimize creasing. So now I'm going to show you how I achieved today's look. To begin, I'm taking the Ombre Premier Gloss in the shade Lunaire, this is the silver version, and with the applicator, I'm picking up a tiny bit of product, and I'm going to very softly tap that directly in the center of the lid, trying to keep it as low as possible but not so low that it gets in the way of my liquid eyeliner. And then the same on the other side. This is going to help accentuate the shine of the metallic shadow I have underneath. So it gives it a slight gloss, but it's a little bit more subtle. I'm staying away from the true crease of my eye, so next I'm taking the shade Solaire, this is the yellow gold, and with the second applicator, I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone. By sticking to the areas low on the lid and high on the brow bone, I've created a glossy eye look that will look great and last throughout the day. The second way you can use your eyeglasses is to apply them directly to the tops of the cheeks as a highlighter. This will give a similar effect to the Balm Essential, which Chanel released earlier this spring. I wore these all day yesterday. I tried both shades. They look beautiful. Not only did it last, it didn't break up my makeup, and it really gives a soft, healthy glow. Be careful not to get too close to the under eye concealer area. Stay in a small concentrated spot and then work from there. For this, I recommend your fingers and you can really customize your glow. So dab a small amount if you want just a little subtle highlight or you can dab a lot if you want a really full wet cheek look. You can even go a little bit more extreme and use a powder highlight on top which will give you a very vibrant beaming highlighted cheek. And of course, you know I always recommend the shoulders, clavicle area as well. The third and final way to use your eye gloss is on the lips. No, it's not going to replace your traditional lip gloss, but if you'd use your fingers and dab just a little bit directly on the center of your lips, it will help create the effect of a really full pout. It adds a touch of sheer sparkle. It's truly beautiful and very convenient, especially on the go. Overall, I think the Ombre Premier Glosses are an incredible multi-use product. A few tips, I received a comment that you wanna make sure to close the lid tightly so that it doesn't dry out. And also I learned from experience, you need to be very careful when using the eye gloss around your liquid eyeliner. It will smudge, it will become a crazy raccoon mess on your eyes, which is not a look that anybody is going for this summer. But other than that, have fun, get creative. These are just three ways that I've enjoyed using the eyeglasses, but I'm really excited to continue using them and integrating them into makeup tutorials moving forward. 
And that completes today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. If you have these eye glosses and you've had fun experimenting, perhaps you have a particular way that you like to use them, drop a comment so we can share our tips down below. As always, I will be linking everything that I used today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Even if you're a subscriber already, be sure you hit the notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.